my fellow and compatriots, I extend my warmest and sincerest salutations to all of you, no matter where you are. Today is the 19th May 2024. Another podcast, another edition, another analysis, another 50 minutes of aroma of thoughts. This is Kabuzin. In this edition, I uh, brought on the spotlight a number of, of assorted items, miscellaneous stuff, a variety of ingredients, all in an impressive package just for listening pleasure. It's going to be captivating. It's going to be fascinating. But first, as usual, my computer is a problem for today. A problem for today has come from a country in a sub-region. A country that is in the Mano, sorry, that is a, that that is in the West African region. This country is, is one of the largest countries in Africa. This country was formerly called S Sudanese Republic. I repeat, this country was formerly called Sudanese Republic. Was, but over the centuries, over the millenniums, the name was changed to Mali. This country is known today as Mali. The, now let's get some facts about Mali here. The first pre president of, of Mali there, the first one that led them to, the, to their independence was Modibu Keita. Modibu Keita was the first president of Mali. From there, now the current one, is a is a kind of head of state but uh you know presidents are elected heads of state they take power that way or maybe they are is a kind of interim leadership the current one there is uh, asimi goita asimi goita is there from there they get the capital city of mali is bamako an elegant population of mali 24.1 million people in mali number of ethnic groups in mali there are 40 plus meaning over 40 ethnic groups in mali now the current currency there in that country is a cfa franc west africa cfa franc and mali is a francophone country it means that they speak english there as an official language although other languages are there but talk about official now let's get uh, the major exports of Mali, they export gold, cotton, fertilizers, oil, and iron. These are Mali's major exports. Gold is there from day one. At the time of Mansa Musa, Mansa, Mansa Musa traveled to Mali, sorry, made a pilgrimage to Mecca, according to history, in the Western Sudanese empires of Ghana, Mali, and Songa. Mansa Musa traveled to, to, the, to, to Mecca, to Saudi Arabia there. Mind you, Mecca is not the capital city of, Mecca, of uh, Saudi Arabia. The capital city there is Riyadh. But uh, Mecca there is just another major city, Mecca. But it's not the capital city of Saudi Arabia at all. Now, and... Uh, so he gave you know he was an extravagant giver on the way going to 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 saudi arabia to make his pilgrimage mansa kanka musa the man gave out a lot of gold outside there even the chair he used to sit in gold the spoon gold the plates are all made of gold so mali is noted for gold from the one now let's get the biggest uh, trading partners of mali there they, they trade with south africa Switzerland, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Ivory Coast. Okay, and Ivory Coast. Okay, those are some of the countries. Uh, uh, Mali trade with or trades with. Okay, now look at the neighboring countries of Mali. Ivory Coast is one, two is Algeria, three is Niger or Niger. Niger is English, Niger is French. Niger, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Senegal, and uh, Mauritania. 
these are countries that uh, that are that are neighboring to to uh, Mali. Eight countries, because Mali is a vast country. Mind you, Mali is far larger than Nigeria geographically, but a greater part of Mali is uninhabitable. Means people don't live there. You can't build a house there because it's more like a desert. A larger part of Mali is a desert, so people don't people don't don't build houses there. You know, there's no plant life there, no vegetation. Only the sun you can see. Although there are some areas there, you walk in the desert and go for a long distance, you can see some plants grow somewhere. That area is called an oasis. O e s i s. An oasis is a fertile land in the desert. So only those small, small areas at times you can see what you call date palm. Date palm they can find it in the desert. A kind of oh God, kind of sweet, sweet. Man, I, I don't I don't know how to describe, but it can be sweet. It, 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 you know, they get it from the from the desert. We call it date palm. Okay, that's it there. So those are some of the facts about Mali there. My computer. Now let, let's go to the proverb from Mali. Okay, I'm okay. Yes, the proverb from Mali. My computer. No, the proverb reads: He who follows the right path, thorns will not hurt him. I repeat, he who follows the right path, thorns will not hurt him. This is a very short proverb for Mali. Let's get some words there to to simplify. He who follows the right path, a path is what we call a small road in the bush. It's called a path. Okay. Okay. Not only in the not only in the bush too. A path is also an air occupied by an air a kind of road that is used by the train although also call it railway or rail or railroad even the airplane there the path it takes to go you know the path the airplane in the air the, the airplane was also called the path but this one is there for the bush for now now they get like, like tons what are tons t-h-o-r-n-s tons what we call it in the bank you know if you walk in the bush there in the bush there, there are some areas, you know, you can be hurt by these stones, the bank. I don't know how to call it in Korea now. Okay, Korea is the same thing, Tom. Will not hurt him. Okay, that's it there. He who follows the right path, thorns will not hurt him. Now, let's get the interpretation here. In, the interpretation says, or the meaning says, before go to the uh, examples, if you do the right thing, or follow the right procedure, or follow protocols you will never be in jeopardy if you, if, you, if you do the right thing you never fall into trouble jeopardy means trouble as long as you follow the right path you do things proceed procedurally you will surely be go out of trouble at all times follow procedures you do the right thing uh, and uh, you never be in problem that is the interpretation there now let's get to the examples here now, the first example I talked about criminal bureau, this Alibaba here, this Alibaba. This criminal bureau failed to uphold the principles of democracy. Now he is in trouble. See? He failed to follow the right path by by upholding the tenets, the principles, the values of democracy. So therefore he's in trouble today. Democracy says free speech, but today there is no free speech in our country. The sooner I talk, they go hold you beat you and kill you <laughs> in most cases they kill you in most cases only that time when people know about your know about your arrest then they will start talk, talking about it I, I tell they can be a bit a bit afraid because they are targeted to come and kill people from northwest people living in northwest not to reduce their population that's that's the main target here nothing else nobody did anything bad bad to them at, uh, at not even a single day so Bio failed to follow the right path and now now the thorns are biting him you no know, the thorns are hurting him i'm sorry the thorns are harming him the thorns you see trouble is coming all over for him you came nobody went behind you nothing at all nobody disturbs you at all 
do the people's work, you fail to do it. You know, you're shifting blame all over the world. Today, you, you bring, uh, um, you shift blame on Ukraine. Tomorrow, tomorrow Palestine, other day Israel, other day APC, other day APC, other day APC again. They say a poor workman quarrels with his tools. That's true. You're not a good workman, but every day, the day you do bad work, you start to grumble with your tools. Hey, this hammer is not good. Oh, this saw is not good. Hey, this hoe is bad. Shifting blames, honest, unnecessary blames. So now the tongues are biting him. He's in trouble. ICC is there waiting for him, and the new government is, is there wait, uh, waiting for him. All of them, they are from top to bottom. Nobody will go scot free again. As long as you corrupt there, they will hold you where possible. Now let's look at the example number two there about traffic lights. You know, when the traffic light registers red, you have to wait. You have to pack and wait for some seconds. A time 40 seconds, 50 seconds for the for the pedestrians to pass. Pedestrians are people who walk on foot. But you, you see the red there, then you you know you pull those and pass. When police chase you now, <coughs> they say pay fine. Oh, the oh the police people are no good. There's a problem we have in most of our countries in 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 MMA, Africa. There's a problem. They fail to follow rules. They fail to follow procedure and protocols. When they catch them now, they say it is that. You see, so you are yeah, you, yeah, you bulldoze the, the traffic, and now the, the tons are bite. The police are there behind you, and the tons, the police are at the tons. They bite you. My compatriots, for the last time, the proverb from uh, from uh, Mali: He who follows the right path, tons will not hurt him at all. That's a proof up there for Mali, and that's the interpretation that my computers. I hope that suffices, and I guess that's fully comprehensible. Now to business, my computers. True, true business. Now I've been away for for some time, roughly ten days or so, but the worst is going on. So, you know. Now, uh. I started a topic I never ended at all, but I'm coming to the climax. I'm coming to the pinnacle gradually, my compatriots. This topic, this uh, item or topic is uh, is wide, so I have to take my time to, you know, to do my research on some of them and come up. Now, the topic reads, to the four wicked politicians, to the four nefarious politicians whose actions have led us to what we we are today. Wicked actions, bad politicians. As, as I said last time, some are not politicians at all. Some are politicians, some are groups of people. Some are APC, some are NGC, some are PDC, some are COS, all type of party. They help to damage the fabrics of that country in no small measure at all. So I, I did some of them the last time. I'm, I'm sure I'm always in my 21 now. But one day I dealt with, I always call their names, Abbas Bundu and KKY. These two people here, they are, they are, they are hopeless, educated fools in, in, in that country. Nobody profited anything from them. From there, I talk about Ben Kaifala, the man that is trying to cover corruption committed by the people from the from Southeast. When the Corruption Act is committed by or committed by any person from the North, oh, that person will be the talk of the day. That person will be the center of attraction. Now, from there, I talk about Fatima, the most shameless first lady in the whole world that can talk about what is happening in bed between him so between her and her hopeless husband there, so-called husband, that they never got married at all until they got until they got to power. They stole her money to marry her. Hopeless set of people there. From there, we have Richard Conte with APC there. Richard Conte, he had, he had been in bed with Bill for quite a long time, but we never knew. Until he came out to say, oh, me, I 